Welcome back everyone to the HWBot World Tour 2016. I'm Truthman from Overclicking TV and I'm being joined by Julius Aeru from uh, Czech hey Republic. Uh, how are you doing, my friend? I'm good. So you're actually uh, from uh, Czech Republic. So why did you come here at the HWBot World Tour Asia? Uh, it, it's a part of my of, of a larger trip. I'm going to be traveling to Vietnam afterwards. And uh, I'm interested in overclocking and the world tour and wanted to join last year, but didn't. So this time I came along. So you, you told yourself like, okay, now I can just, I can just, you know, come, come around and just enjoy, uh, no, just enjoy the show, right? Yeah. Yeah. The, the biggest reason I come is to meet the people that I know in the, in the field of overclocking. But that's the thing. We usually all meet up around the internet, right? So you know, it's a it's a good way to have like the, except here, except here. Yeah, yeah. Here we meet in person. But that's the whole point. That's that's the all of the people here are the the one we do exchange over online, uh, discuss quite often on uh, on social media as well. But having them here, it's always fun. Like I mean, I always enjoy you know, uh, you know having you around. Like you have to always good discussions. Uh, you know, can always share a beer. It's not easy to share a beer over the internet, right? That's something you always have to do in real life or actually AFK because that's still real life anyway. Well, what do you think so far about the, the world tour, the event itself? Uh, the venue or like the, like everything, the, the like overclocking? The, yeah, the, the overclocking part and the venue itself. Um, it's, it's different than what I expected a little bit. I'm used to the 24 hours overclocking, you know, the overnight benching. <laughs> so here it's more focused on the on the Broadwell eCPUs, but other than that, it's it's massive. You know, there's not just the World Tour; it's the G Skill events and MSI events and phew, a lot of overclocking. But that's the thing; like the World Tour is actually on the uh, Computex, so that's the biggest uh, trade show about computer hardware. And of course, we you know we we have all uh, all these manufacturers in uh, mm -hmm. in the area that are you know doing overclocking. So we had actually you were talking about Gskill. Uh, the Gskill competition just awarded ten thousand USD to one of the overclockers. I think that was Alan that won uh, against Dan Cobb today, right? I wasn't watching. Okay. So I well, no we, actually, I wasn't watching either because I didn't. I didn't see Daniel, so I couldn't see if he has a smile or a frown on his face. So I cannot tell if he. Well, we saw Alan and people shaking it and and saying like, "Congrats!" So I do Probably. expect him to have win this uh, this 10k. Okay. I think that's the second time in the room. So... Somebody in the stream, I think, would know. <laughs> So indeed, guys, this is the uh, HWBot World Tour. We were here actually in Taipei. Tomorrow is the big day. Tomorrow is the most important day of this week. Uh, above the last four days, we had qualifiers uh, and we face off in the end. So now we have four overclockers that can access the uh, the final of tomorrow. We will start by the semi-final for the extreme overclockers. Then we will move on to uh, to the selected four best amateur to see you know, what uh, what could happen between them. To you know. That just amateurs. They they, they never experienced uh, Broadwell E overclocking before. Uh, they got trained for 30 minutes and then they, uh, you know, they uh, they had. I'm gonna say that they, the tryout for 30 minutes. The 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 best overclockers will actually uh, go to more for a one the, versus one. There there is got so from the amateurs. They will be on stage as well tomorrow okay, morning okay. for the HWBot World Series for Amateur. The HWBot World Series for Amateur is tailored to people that never had extreme overclocking before or that don't have account on HWBot yet. The extreme overclockers, of course, are used to that, so we call that the HWBot World Series. The, there will be the semi-final and then the bronze final and the gold final. I just want to say hi to Michal. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Flanker. So actually, yeah, Flanker CZ is uh, one of your friends from back home, right? Yeah. He's actually always on the live and and uh, always say hi. Um, th there, there was a question from Flanker CZ actually to you, like, will you be there next year? Uh, because next year I want to be here, and we can try to do a Czech Republic team now. Mm, my question to him is, why isn't he here this year? <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a good one indeed. Uh, if you guys have an issue with the stream, uh, we are streaming in very high quality from here, from the venue. We have an awesome internet connection. We're streaming straight to the Twitch server here in Taipei, Taiwan. Uh, if there's issue for you guys, you can just change uh, to high or medium for the for the bandwidth, and that will work much, much better. They, they, you have a fastest internet on the trade show, right? We do actually have faster internet than actually the press room. <laughs> 
<laughs> and and this was crazy because um you know when we do this kind of um like overclocking competition and streaming internet is the worst thing we can get so internet is always the worst at every event we go because having the right internet uh, is is crucial right if we don't have the right internet there's no way we can do the stream like this or the this quality of the production so what we need is always request some specific internet bandwidth right we were supposed to have 100 100 I need and fiber. <laughs> but actually they had to they had to bring a fiber right here yeah. in just uh, next to us is actually the modem they had to bring one of the fiber from from the nodes that is actually outside of the building up to us just for this for the for the setup yeah. of the stream here who ordered the fiber you know <laughs> well, we, we, we needed internet, we needed it stable, so we and made it happen. It, has it been stable? It's been stable so far. We have uh, we had no issue whatsoever, so this is great to uh, to be here. Uh, great job by the guys at Tetra, the organizer of Computex. Um, actually, the the venue here is huge. Like Nengang is huge. Did you have the time to go around the different uh, booth inside? No, I <laughs> probably would get lost. <laughs> <laughs> This issue. I actually spent uh, maybe like 35, 40 minutes this morning in the in the in the first floor, and well, there's so so many stuff. There's so like there's a lot of new cases, a lot of new um, uh, product around the you know, around the mm. area. But it's like oh, it's like it's like a, like a toy you know a toy shop. They say, oh, I haven't seen this. Oh, this one is new. Oh. It's a it's a like massive jungle of electronics. Actually, jungle is the right term. That's actually the right term. Yeah. So, uh, is that your first time in Taiwan? Mm -hmm. How do you like it? Uh, I'm starting to, because I hang around here, so I haven't seen, I've been, haven't been to in Taipei all the time, but I like it. I like to. I'm surprised that the people are generally very friendly and very kind. Very, very, they, they're very forward in helping you out and they like it when you greet them in Chinese. Ni hao. <laughs> <laughs> ni hao and ni hao ma. Yeah. yeah. Did you learn some Chinese in, uh, despite ni hao and xie xie? Uh, uh, not, no, I just learned like, for me it's like pictures of cottages and people dancing, you know, the, the, the Chinese signs. Are you trying to recognize the signs now? <laughs> <laughs> when I ask somebody about direction, they just give me a few Chinese signs, so it's for me it's like looking at a picture and I am comparing it with other pictures. So. But actually, if you look at Taipei written in Chinese, it, there's actually like a, the house. Uh -huh. Yeah, so like Taipei in this like the house of something. So maybe if you translate like the Chinese words to the same things, maybe like house of someone or house of something. But yeah, that's uh, that's cool here. I mean, uh, yeah, I hope you're gonna have time. How long are you staying in uh, in Taiwan for before? Are you coming back to back home on one Sunday? week after end of Computex? So that's good. So next week we'll have the time to go visit around here. Well, there was a question on uh, the live uh, on the live chat. When will be the next the next match? The next match will be tomorrow for us here. Um, actually, it's uh, about five. 20 p.m. here so it's about 13 hours from now is the next match that's going to be at 9 a.m. local time local time so 9 a.m. Taipei time we'll have the first uh, show and then the first match of the semi-final qualifier so the best way for you guys to know when is the next match is to actually subscribe or follow us here on our Twitch channel and um, activate the notification so when we go live you know that there will be something coming up we don't go live every day except this week because this week I've been intense like since tuesday we're streaming every day for the match mm -hmm. tomorrow is the most important day so tomorrow for us it's about 12 a little bit more than 12 hours for there's you there's gonna guys. be matches from from start to the end right Just like from from, from 9 a.m we start with the pre-show i think the first match like like 9 30 or 10 and since then uh like every 30 minutes we're gonna have a match until the end of the of the day with the award ceremony to know who will get the golden ticket to go to the hwbot world championship that will be held in germany at case king do you know the name of MOA, right? It's Master Over Overclocking Arena. This will feel feel like an arena to, tomorrow, you know, like. That will be the uh, the Master Computex Arena now. Like, yeah. This is the biggest ever overclocking event that ever happened during Computex. Like during the time of Computex, this is crazy. Yeah, because there's a lot of. I was surprised that I thought that the first day. Uh, that is like that's all that's the qualifier but that but then i saw that for each manufacturer you have different qualifier days 
Yeah, it's massive. And it's also nice that if somebody, uh, let's say, does has, has some bad luck with some kind of motherboard, he can try the next day with a different one. So That's actually what happened to XA. XA had, um, was in the face of yesterday, but he didn't manage to beat Dankop. So he managed again to be in the in the qualifier today, win the qualifier. So he's back on the face of today, and he won against Bull Shooter. Yep, that's that, what it's about. That's great. That's 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 cool to see. Uh, there was another uh, question on the live chat. I hope that next World Tour is in Indonesia so I can join. I cannot say anything, but there's one World Tour stop left before the Asia Bot World Championship grand final in berlin there's one world truth stop and it's in southeast asia so that means indonesia is in southeast asia uh, thailand is in southeast asia uh, singapore is in southeast asia Kuala lumpur is in southeast asia Th these are the possibilities that the next world tour will happen in this area it will be in southeast asia this year. for sure this year that's gonna be in q3 that's for sure um, I guess that Peter will announce soon exactly where and when that will be. I actually mm -hmm. cannot wait to know when that will be. I think a lot of overclockers from this area will, will are also eager to hear. Anyway, guys, if he's not going too close to you, you can always come back here next year. <laughs> I, I hope we're going to have actually the same space because this huge booth here is awesome. This space here is perfect. We, sh we should... Pick up our own power generator to, for next year. <laughs> so, so our own internet, our own power generator. Um, yeah, our our own uh, food place, our own beer. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, that's actually that. There's actually some interesting information in that. I love it. That's a nice idea. Okay, I will I will try to talk to Peter for that. But man, this building here is actually. Um, Quite impressive and and very uh, very well done. Oh, we have we have actually the replay of uh, of the guys doing the the winning match. Mm -hmm. XA won the match. Yeah, again. <laughs> actually, right after the match, end up it's like I'm going out for a smoke, and he went straight outside, went for a smoke. Well, that's 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 really XA, right? He's usually going out for a smoke and then for a beer. Oh, this is crazy here, guys. Uh, this is the uh, there's one day left for Computex tomorrow. Uh, that would be crazy to see all the guys and everything that uh, that happen uh, that can happen here. Uh, tomorrow is full day match versus so one versus one all day long. So are are there if you competed on the first day and then you competed on the second, you cannot compete if you won the first day are there are there any how are the slots you know so the slots are awarded in like this so every day you have a daily face-off yeah the daily face-off um every day you have the qualifier let's start let's start by the way every day you have the hw bot world series asia daily qualifier the top three of these qualifiers win cash 500 USD for the first one, 250 USD for the second one, and 125 USD for the third one. This is for the qualifier. Out of these top three people, the top two goes to the face-off. Number one versus number two. But that happened on Tuesday. Tuesday, Roth won the uh, the, uh, mm -hmm. the face-off. And... <clears throat> and and the, uh, so uh, I was saying that Roth won the first face-off. He was qualified for the next day as well, but he already won the face-off to go on the semi-final on Saturday. He won't fight against himself, right? So actually that was number one against number three. Mm. And then you can fight like this. Yesterday, Dan Cup won. If Dan Cup was winning again today, he would not actually be in the face-off because he already have his ticket so for the, the semi-final. So, so the, uh, the one behind him would be instead. Mm -hmm. Okay, the... yeah, that's the situation I'm talking about. So it's not for, forced for the first two, it's the, out of the first three. We are doing the, the draw of the benchmark live tomorrow.
Oh, I got information from, we were actually discussing with the judge, um, Mr. Christian Ney, uh, how we do the draw for the matches. Uh, as we know, the four people that are going to the semi-final, right? Mm. It's Rof, Dan Cup, Extreme Addict, and Wool. Mm. These four people have to be matched, one against the other. In France, it was first with last, right? But what we will do to, but that was on all the same system. So what we will do now is you cannot, they will so do okay i will check with the the judge uh, how we're gonna do so Okay, so I got the information from Christian Ney that we will be doing the draw live now to know who will go against who tomorrow. So yeah, rewinding in uh, what we have and what we uh, what we were talking before. Um, in Europe, everyone used the same hardware or pretty much the same hardware, and that's how you 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 make mm -hmm. them face off. You take the first the number one against number four, number two against number three. Mm -hmm. What we have here is um, we need to know how they can match up because they're all using different hardware for the final. We want to know exactly who can go against who without having a side of who's the first, who's the fourth, etc. etc. So having a draw is actually um, completely random. There's no calculation in the guys to know at which day they want to qualify against who to know who is the fourth or, th or second. They didn't compete on the same benchmark, so you cannot rank them, right? You, they all what do you mean by winner uh, of the face off? hardware so they, they all winner of their face off hmm? they all win a face off they all win a face off on a different benchmark but you said their own hardware mainboard or what do they share cpu the same they will use the same cpu and they will have to use the hardware brand that they were using when they qualify the face off so yeah. that means extrematic could have to use their own memory their own memory the memory is provided by zadak so they have the same memory Okay. They, they just have to use the brand they were qualified on. Okay, I got the information that Christian Ney is uh, waiting near the streaming booth. Julius, my dear friend, it was a pleasure to have you on the live. I can't wait to actually have uh, a beer later on with you tonight. And I can't wait to uh, to show you around Taipei in uh, next week. Yeah, I'm going to need you to help me find somewhere there's something nice to eat. Oh, I, I know I know some very good place here in Taiwan. I had a very ra random luck eating here, so it's just always Chinese. So I pick some, sometimes like, it's okay. This one, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you very much. I will uh, yeah. I will for sure bring you to some nice place here. The food is super good here, so okay. As long as you know where to go. Thank you very much, my thanks. friend. Thanks, Drew. Hope to see you again on the live anytime. Bye, guys. Soon. Don't forget to watch tomorrow. Let's say hello to awesome Pierman 303. Hello. That was a question from Flanko CZ again. Hey, Truthman, where can we find the Zadak product in Europe? Well, you can't find them yet because Not the yet. brand just uh, was unveiled to last Tuesday. So everything is completely new. Like the memory, no one used it before. No one knew that memory kit before. Okay, are we ready? We are ready and we are live. Okay. Being so, joined here by um, the messenger Christian Ney. Uh, Christian Ney, hi, welcome on the live. We usually hear your voice through the microphone, but not directly through the headset. Not yet live. <laughs> so, uh, what are we doing here today? The point is to draw who is against who tomorrow. So, we draw right. the semi finals. Who are the overclockers in the, uh, that can uh, be drawn for this uh, drawing now? So there will be Raccoon from Switzerland, Hazan, Extreme Addict, and Dan Cop. So we have Raccoon, Hazan, Extreme Addict, Dan Cop. And Dan Cop. Correct. This is correct. So what are we doing now? So if we do a draw, that's going to be the first one against the second draw, the second one, etc. Yes. etc. Until the end. Okay. So let's go for the first semi-final of the HWBOT World Series. 
Uh, do you want to do it on the on your one of your monitor, or we do it on the smartphone? Oh, you can do it on the. Oh, so everybody can. sees it. So uh, just talk about how was your experience about the the one versus one. How is it to be a judge actually? What can what is your work as a judge? Oh. Uh. <laughs> It's easy to be the judge of the one versus one. Uh, it's always a bit special when uh, one of the overclockers encounters issues and uh, what they can do and if you can uh, allow them to change the, the OS and whatnot. So, for example, uh, Frank had uh, problems with memory at the beginning and then uh, he had problems running the benchmark. It was a very low score and that was because he forgot to to install the, the VGA driver so actually he, he didn't pre prepare and the, he didn't do a stack run before uh, actually running the benchmark so he didn't know about the issue and when we changed the drive it was a bit too late so so the stock run is what we usually call the placeholder right that's yes. the uh, that's the thing you always that's the first thing that's the first thing you do uh, the before actually you... starting yeah, that's, that should actually be like, even you even start doing anything, you boot the computer and you just do that one. So you know if there is actually something wrong or, or not. Do you think that was like a, because of the stress that you forgot to do it? Or maybe, maybe the doers were, I would say, well prepared. So <laughs> I guess you thought that everything was was, was working and uh, uh, the, he was here for f four days already. Everything was working smooth. So I guess he thought that uh, he, did, he didn't have to actually test it. But I noticed that uh, depending on which slot you put the VGA card, sometimes the driver doesn't load automatically. So you have to reinstall it in order for it to work. Let's see if we can get this zoomed in. All right, so to do the draw, um, actually we can draw a list and have one to four. Uh, one gonna be against two, three yeah, against four three for against the semifinal. Four. So here we are, uh, we have, so we have Raccoon, Azan, Extreme Addict, Dramatic. and Danko. Number one will go against number two, number three will go against number four. Yes. And here we are. So the first semi-final of tomorrow will be Azan against Raccoon and the second semi-final will be Dan Cup against Extreme Addict. <laughs> we will have a second time this Dan Cup versus Extreme Addict tomorrow. That will be a crazy match, man. That would be a crazy game, right? Yeah. Because that's exactly what happened when Dan Cup qualified. He did qualify against uh, Extreme Addict. So we will have the second time the two guys benching Revenge. against each other. Ooh, my God. That's going to be that's going to be impressive. That's going to be Number one overclocker in the world, Dan Cup, against number two overclocker in the world, Extreme Addict. Da I Dan, Dan, Dan Cup has a clear advantage, but uh, he can always run into issues or have bad luck. We will see yep. how that goes. Yeah. Oh man, I can't, I can't wait for tomorrow. So the first semi final will be um, Raccoon Azan, versus Azan. Basin Azan. And the second one would be Dan Cup versus Extreme. There was a question on the live chat. Where is Rolf? Uh, actually, Rolf went back home yesterday. He had to run back home for a uh, personal reason. So he could not attend uh, the, um, the the semi-final here, the HBO World War Series. So by default, his seat goes to uh, his opponent in the face-off. That was Asan. So that's the... That's the most fair play way to, uh, to do things in, in that case. Um, that was a question on the live chat. Uh, what is this competition? Who has the better computer, basically? Yes, this is it. What, who has the better computer? And uh, we, measure, we measure that with something that is called benchmark. A benchmark is like a racing track, right? Formula One. You can go to Dubai for the, for the track and the track doesn't change every year, right? It's always the same track. So you know you can compare the time on the track. Then uh, you have limitation about what kind of uh, engine you can use. And the engine you can use is here the CPU you use, for example, or the memory you use. And all this uh, let uh, give you a score at the end. And this score is the, you have to have the bigger one, either the fastest score or the bigger number. It's basically who has the bigger one race. Yeah, in, uh, <laughs> in another word, yes. If you want to know more information about this, you can go to hwbot.org. And if you look on YouTube for Scatter Venture, you have all the the um, you have all the um, the videos on how to do the overclocking in five minutes. That's something you can check, and you can look on the live chat. The um, link to the videos is actually available. 
We will cut the stream for today. That was an awesome day to do with you guys. Don't forget, in 12 hours from now, we will have the beginning of the HWBot World Series. And the HWBot World Series here in Asia will feature Raccoon, Azan, Extremadic, and Dancop. This will be a tight games. There will be tight semifinals for one golden ticket, uh, le one of the two last golden tickets left to win to go to the HWBot World Championship. Thank you very much for being with us uh, tonight. If you want to have the information when we go live, always subscribe to our Twitch channel and activate the notification. If you want to watch the replay or watching this replay on YouTube, uh, youtube.com forward slash overclocking TV, give it a thumbs up if you like the content or if you want to cheer for your favorite overclocker in the comments, give it a thumbs on if you have not understood anything from what this is and you will probably end up on Twitch because sometimes we end up uh, on Twitch in the front page. I would like to thank the guys at Intel for hosting us uh, for the past uh, for the past four days and tomorrow. Uh, if you want to have more information about the latest Intel CPUs and what Intel is doing for the gaming industry, you can always go to twitch.tv forward slash Intel and follow their channel as well. Well, thank you very much, the, uh, my dear friend, you're for welcome. being on the live. Yeah. Uh, Christian Ney, you're the judge here and you're doing an awesome work. Tomorrow nice. will be a hard day, right? Yeah, the, today was a hard day. So uh, let's go, let's cut the live, go get a nice, you know, a nice dinner and then we come back here tomorrow. Bye bye, bye guys.